did I feel? I should, of course, you know, when you know, when you go to dinner with, you know, the the, the couple of family, you feel like it's kind of a little bit of Hollywood royalty. So you feel kind of sort of certainly sort of deferential. You know, someone sort of called me last night and said, "Are you doing anything interesting?" I said, "Yeah, I've just been for dinner with the couples, and I'm about to go on." Um, on uh, what's his name, Paul Thingy's yacht. What's the what's the Microsoft guy? Paul um, Allen. Paul Allen's oh, yacht. Yeah. Mm. Um, and, know, pre and pretty damn big, isn't it? Did you yeah, get it is, on it? It is. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, it's 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 da huge. Would not be an exaggeration. But I got comfortable quite quickly. So. You could get used to that lifestyle. Could you? I think so. I think I think any <laughs> misgivings I might have had about uh, power corrupting me, I think I would quickly evaporate. The, 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 the corruption evaporate. you could just learn to live with. I think I'd, I'd learn to contextualize it. I mean, working with Michael, when, when I work with Michael, uh, he, he often puts reality into his scripts. If, if I say something, uh, I might have a conversation with him about the script and, and about what I think should be in it. And he'll ignore everything I, I've said about what should be in the script and just put what I literally said at the meeting and, 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 and put that in the script when I was trying to explain something to him. Just have me trying to explain something to someone the way I was to him. So, um, But I don't mind him. You know.